and she's the first person to say no when I say I want to honor her. But I want, to, want you to know that uh, for now close to eight years, I've been able to uh, get a lot done and do a lot of really kind and wonderful things for the people of our great and beautiful diverse city. And it would never happen if I didn't have somebody who was keeping me on mark and doing the things that she does. So, Lucia, can you just stand up? So, Lucia Chavado, last year she did, how, how many proclamations did you do last year? How many procs did we do last year? Did we break the record? The 500, yeah, so, and that's obviously not all she does, but uh, if, it's, if it's something new and unique, something special, something that uh, is there to benefit the taxpayers of our city and the wonderful people who live here, uh, Lucia's right there at the helm. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, the great Lucia Travato. Her role began in 1998 as a community outreach coordinator in the council president's office and would then go on to serve for two former mayors. Lucia is known for bringing groups together at City Hall, whether it's from the world of education, city government, different cultural groups throughout the city, writing proclamations, making everyone feel special, and whether you're talking about the mayor's Thanksgiving care drive, the toy and coat drive, the mayor's Hispanic boards, Three Kings celebration, and for somebody who works with Lucia day in and day out on the second floor of City Hall, the list could go on and on and on. We could be here until midnight, and exactly what Mayor Spano said before, our world would not operate without the great Lucia Travato.